in today's video we're talking about 10 safest states to live in the u.s i do hope that at the end of this video you'll be convinced that not all states in the u.s is actually bad or unsafe to live in so guys without further ado let's get started <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, if you're seeing this face for the first time, hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you for tuning in. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. From my research, I found out that out of 800,000 people living in the US, about or approximately 308 people are affected with one violent crime or the other. Having this at the back of our mind, we're going to be mentioning 10 safest states to live in the US. So I'm going to start with number 10 and then we'll move over to number 1. I also want to point out that this information I'll be sharing with you, we're gotten from World Population Review and also movingworldo.com. So guys, let's get started. So number 10 on my list is Virginia. Virginia is a state in the mid-Atlantic and southeastern region of the US with a population of about 8.509 million people as of 2020 and its capital is Richmond. It is the 10th safest state to live in the US with a crime rate of about 16% lower than the national average. Guys, if you can remember when I said that, out of about 100,000 people, 308 people approximately are affected with one violent crime or the other. So you can imagine that a state is having 16% less than the national average. So you can see that not all states in the US is actually bad, there's some states that are safe. For you to live in now let's move to number nine my number nine is wyoming wyoming is a state in the mountain west sub region of the western united states it has a population of about 581,348 people as of 2020 and it is a nice safest state to live in because its crime rate is about 28 percent lower than the national average wow 28 percent lower than the national average guys Wyoming is actually safe to some extent. And number eight is Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a U.S. state in New England and is the smallest state to live in the U.S. People have sarcastically said that for you to move from one part of Rhode Island to the other, it will take you about approximately 45 minutes. But this is just a way of stressing that point or letting you know that it is a small state. Rhode Island's capital is Providence and that's a population of about 1.058 million people as of 2020. The violent crime rate reported in Rhode Island is about 221.1 cases per 100,000 residents, which means that it is 28% safer than the national average. And number seven state is Massachusetts. Massachusetts is the most popular state in the New England region of the Northeastern United States. It has a population of 6.873 million people as of 2020. And its capital is, of course, Boston. Its violent crime rate is about 33% lower than the national average. Massachusetts, guys, is safer. So let's move over to number six. Number six is Vermont. Vermont is a northeastern U.S. state with a population of 624,340 as of 2020. Its capital is Montpelier, and its violent crime rate is about 202.2 per 100,000 people living in Vermont, which makes about 34% safer than most of America's states. Number five on my list is Connecticut. Connecticut is a US state in Southern New England with a population of 3.571 million people as of 2020. Its capital is Hartford and it houses the prestigious Yale University. Its violent crime is about 183.6 cases per 100,000 residents. It is 40% safer than the national average. Connecticut is another state I love. My number four state is New Jersey. New Jersey is the northeastern U.S. state with a population of approximately 8.885 million people as of 2020. Its capital is Straton and it is the fourth safest state to live in because of its 206.9 violent crime committed per 100,000 residents, which makes it 33% lower than the average rate in the US. New Jersey is known for its great education and world class health system. And number three is Idaho. Idaho is a northwestern US state with a population of 1.754 million people as of 2020. Its capital is Boys and it has a violent crime of 223.8 committed per 100,000 people living in Idaho. 
which makes it 27% less than the national average. So one thing I love about Adao is that it has low living costs. So the cost of living is actually low and they have cheaper health care. If you're looking for a state that has low cost of living and cheaper health care and also safe, guys, Adao is the real deal. And number two is New Hampshire. It is a state in New England with a population of 1.355 million people and its capital is Concord. It is the second safest state to live in the US with a violent crime rate of 152.5 cases per 100,000 residents. It is 50% safer than the national average. So guys, that leads us to our number one. Our number one is Maine. Maine is in the northeasternmost part of the US and it is the safest state to live in America with about 63% fewer violent crime rates per 100,000 people. Wow! It has a population of approximately 1.3 million people as of 2020 and also one of the least expensive states to live in. Guys, with all this information I've shared today, I hope you've been able to see that not all states in the US is unsafe. There are some states that are safe and also has low cost of living, tax friendly, good healthcare, good education. You just need to research about them. So guys, these are my 10 safest states to live in the US. And of course, like I mentioned before, this information we're gotten from World Population Review and also MovingWado.com. So you can check them out, check the website so you can get more information about these states. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Have a good one and have a blessed day.